Hello, I'm Renown Zero. Today we're going to be talking about Edgy Publisher who's claiming that there are new guidelines on Nintendo Switch to ban uncensored lady parts from their game. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like if you liked the video, comment below about what you think about this, and subscribe for more content. I do content like Ripperverse coverage about all the detractors, all the people receiving their order and such. I will be doing a video of the unboxing of my order. And I'll be doing a review on the comic itself when I receive it. So let's jump right into it. This article from Bounty in the Comics by Ryan Pearson. Edgy Publisher claims new guidelines ban lady parts on Nintendo Switch. The publisher of fan service focused games has claimed Nintendo has new guidelines forbidding uncensored lady parts on Nintendo Switch. The claim comes from Edgy Publisher Gamuzumu, who specializes in fan service heavy titles such as Sakura MMO2 and Else Fantasy Hentai Puzzle. Initially tweeting, Today we have good and bad news, they later elaborated. So the bad news first. We received an answer from Nintendo, and now we have a confirmation that they do not allow uncensored lady parts on their consoles. And here's the tweet here. Basically, obscene content could damage their brand and infringe its policies. I don't understand how it can damage your brand when you literally have a bunch of other games that are probably very similar to this and you're not doing anything about that. And also, there's an ESRB rating on your game, so not everyone should have access to the game anyway. This means that now all games with female content that shouldn't be shown should be censored, and that's why our game Hot Tentacle Shoot was rejected in the first place, Gamuzumu assert. Here's a tweet here. Also, our recently announced game Elves Christmas Hentai Puzzle was also rejected due to having nudity. That's still all the info we have for now. So far, we'll try to send the games without nudity for approval again. See what they say and update the thread if necessary. Gamu Zumu, Zumi explained. It's a shame that now all consoles have restrictions about nude content. This probably will affect not only our games, but also games from our other publishers and devs. Gamzumu proposed. Gamu Zumu, Zumi. At least we can still release the games censored. It's... Never a good idea to release your game censored, by the way. People will not accept if it is not the original product that is intended to be put out. But we saw platforms like Steam and more where we can release the games fully uncensored for everyone. Exactly. You should just release the game on Steam. Just put it on Steam. It'll be just fine. PlayStation's infamous global standards policy was uncovered in 2018, forcing censorship of this type of content upon that Japanese developers. Yet the policy was lifted for Western-made games such as Last of Us Part 2, which is a garbage game, by the way. Combined with Xbox not typically having less Japanese-developed games, and Nintendo Switch has been a safe, seen as a safe haven for fans of anime-style games out of PC. Nintendo Switch does host over 1,400 M for mature-rated games. Aside from horror and violence, there are some surprisingly fan-service-heavy titles, considering Nintendo's reputation as the most family-friendly out of the consoles, console gaming's big three. So basically, they're being hypocritical by not allowing this game to be on here, but you let other games be on here. Come on now. These are just low-budget titles using smut to achieve sales either. Seven Pirates, Eight Summons, Entries of the Senren Kagura series, and the Omega Labyrinth Life all bring real-life game, real gameplay with the side of fan service. In fact, Omega Labyrinth Life was renamed Censored on PlayStation because PlayStation's a dog shit console, and that's why all they're doing right now is remastering and remaking games because they have a shitty platform. Even so, Gamazumi may be undone if they hope to rely on Steam. Despite stating that they will allow everything adding an adult games category, there has been a spate of games with anime art styles being denied release or removed from Steam. The unofficial Steam ban and removed games list Google Doc list list almost 103 delisted games and over 600 unreleased and 800 removed after launch. So, not really much of a better choice than to uh, try to release on PC. As for Nintendo, all we know of the supposed guidelines is the ban on fair press. As such, only more questions arise. Does context matter? What are existing games being sold on the Switch? What is considered explicit beyond fair nudity? Either way, this smacks the stance. This smacks of the stance Nintendo took in the 1990s regarding censorship of violence and gore and its games and ports. The company eventually caved due to lost sales. So you have all these other games that are on there, but you refuse to take on this game showing off biology showing off something that's natural i mean like i said there are there is the esrb that's why we have it in place so that certain games are only made for certain audiences i mean that's why you have that but then again nintendo being a hypocrite as they do as they always are and steam doing the same thing it's like just let people release the games they want to release they don't People spend lots of time and effort into making these games and they want to put it out in the world and be successful and be independent, be indie games and let people buy the games. Who cares? Honestly, who cares? 
that people buy the game, that people enjoy the game. If they want to support it, support it. Stop trying to restrict certain things being on your platform because you're scared of other nonsense. But those are my thoughts on this. Thank you guys for checking out this video. It really does mean a lot. Like I said already, please be sure to like, turn on notifications so that way you get that way you get them whenever I post new videos. Set it to all. Comment below on what you think about this and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.